What's going on, man? It's your big bro, Trend. And I'm about to tell you in this video um, why you attract narcissists in your life and why they always like to play on your emotions, okay? So stay tuned throughout this whole short video, all right? And at the end, don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know um, what do you think about narcissists? Do you know any narcissists in your life? Um, if so, make sure you leave a comment below and let us all know like your experience with narcissists and give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel after this video is over. All right. So first things first, um, narcissists are nutcases. Okay. They are the most, some of the most disgusting, uh, emotionally disabled, psychologically misconstrued manipulative people on the face of the earth all right if you have been in the presence of a narcissist or you've been like stalked by a narcissist or whatever then you can vouch for me you know exactly what i'm talking about all right these people do not know when to quit all right and again like i say they are very very manipulative and they think that they smart but really the person the victim who they trying to go after is actually uh, able to see through their BS, okay? But the narcissists don't care, all right? When you're dealing with a narcissist, it's like they won't stop, you know what I'm saying? It's like they keep coming back, you know? It's like they keep, they want more, you know? They 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 always trying to play on uh, your emotions and stuff and trying to manipulate, manipulate the situation, all right? And I'm gonna give you some examples of that in this video. All right, but when when you dealing when you dealing with narcissists, you got to keep in mind their whole MO is to control, control, control you. That's what they're really trying to do. Their whole objective is to try to like get you to be their little uh their little puppy toy. You know what I mean? They're trying to they trying to be your owner, like a, like a dog and then they got an owner. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to control your your moves that you make. Um, they try to get into your life and, and tell you what to do. They try, they want you to, they want to be able to tell you where to go. Um, they, they even get to the point, they, they get to a point where they want to tell you what you can and cannot say. All right. But before, before a narcissist, before you get to that point with a narcissist, it always start out with like the games. All right. They always like to play the games. And, you know, like I always say, a narcissist knows exactly when to hit you. It's like, they know exactly when to hit you with the right blow. You know what I mean? Because th what they do is they, they they constantly are sitting back, just waiting on the right, perfect time to say something to you or to like send you this uh, uh, this this text message that is just uh, something you can't deny. You know, they, they'll do stuff like, oh, well, I'm a, I want to take you out to this uh, restaurant and it might be a, the best restaurant in the town. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it, it's like a five star restaurant. You know, they do things like they'll they'll shower you with gifts. You know, you might get you might get bottles of champagne or something from this narcissistic person. Um, they'll offer the they'll offer the uh buy you buy you material possessions and stuff like cars, you know. Uh they'll they'll buy you if you're a woman and a man is a narcissist, you know, he'll buy you all he'll buy you the 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 the, the top notch outfit in the store that you that you said you wanted on the phone. He'll go get that for you. You know, they will do anything in their power to capture their victim. That's what they, it's all about them trying to win you. All right. And see, one thing about narcissists, what they do is they only play on people who are soft, kind, sweet, innocent, um, you know, people who are, you know, uh, less talkative, you know, people that are very like laid back. You might be called naive at times. You know what I'm saying? Narcissists love these people. Narcissists love naive people. Narcissists love people who don't necessarily speak their mind. Okay. Narcissists love people who 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 kind of like sit in the back of the room and just kind of quiet and don't say nothing. These are the type of people that narcissists prey on. They prey on souls who are less talkative. You know, people who are not, like I said, it's not as outspoken as the typical person. Narcissists play on people who are not going to put their foot down on nothing. You know what I'm saying? But see, little do they know that most of the time, the person who they want to uh, get, the narcissist they want to get, is well beyond their intelligence, okay? The most quietest people are usually the most intelligent people ever. That's why they quiet most of the time, because they know so much. 
and they don't want to tell everybody what they know. Okay, comment below. If, let me know if you're a quiet person, but you're very intelligent. You just say I'm quiet, but I'm intelligent, big bro trend. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button too. If this video resonates with you. Um, but yeah, like I said, narcissists are very, very, very manipulative, and they, like I said, they like to prey on people who they know they can win, who they know they control, can control. And narcissists don't always have to be fe fellas or men, okay? I know the majority sometimes is men from what I've experienced, but narcissists could also be women, all right? Uh, if you're a man, you could you could run into women that are narcissistic, okay? Um, narcissistic people are very possessive, right? They don't, they don't want you to be doing anything without them. You know, like if they see you take a picture on IG or on Facebook or something like that, and they notice it. They trust me. Everything that you post, they know it because they probably following you or they got somebody else following you or something. They know what you're doing. But see, the thing about it, they just try to act like they don't. OK, because like I said, with a narcissist, it's all about a game with them. It's like it's like they play. It's like they think they playing chess, chess, but they really playing checkers. It's like they don't want you to know their moves, but it's like you picking up on all their moves. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, what these narcissists do is. They sit back and they try to they try to uh, come up with ways on how they could get you, like what they could do for you to make you bow down to them eventually. That's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people fall victim to narcissists, like because a lot of people can't deny gifts. You know what I mean? A lot of people, it's, it's hard for them not to go out on that dinner date. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people, when, when a narcissist try to like shower you with stuff and try to like, you know, put you on a pedestal, there are a lot of people out there who fall for that every single time. And the next thing you know, they end up in a relationship or a situation with that narcissist and they regret it later. One thing you got to keep in mind is when you get into a situation with a narcissist, it is hard to get away from that person. Trust and believe it's hard. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say that one more time. If you get into a situation or a relationship with a narcissistic person, it is very hard to get out of that situation with that person. Because like I said, they're going to always come with something new that that you didn't you don't expect. And it's going to always turn you back to them if you're not smart enough. OK, when dealing with narcissists, you got to keep in mind, like um, they, these people are these people are like so crazy over you, man. It's crazy. You know what I mean, they, they, I can't explain it, but I can at the same time, <laughs> but like they are just, it's almost like, it's like they, it's, have you ever had somebody that, 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 that say they like you or whatever, but it, it's aggravating. You know what I mean? It's like, it's aggravating. It's like, like, why you keep complimenting me? Like, stop, stop it. I heard you the first time. Like, stop it. I, you know, I know I got a nice hairstyle. Stop it. Like, it, it, and then, and see, they don't act like they act like you don't notice that they doing this. You know what I'm saying? They so wrapped up in who you are or what you or what you trying to do your next move. It's like they don't even know that they being overboard. They don't even get it. You know what I'm saying? Because they narcissists. It's either they way or the highway. Narcissists don't care about the consequences of the things that they do. They just want what they want. Period. Because they selfish. Okay. Narcissists are selfish, stubborn people. They are very stubborn and they're very selfish. OK, and they feel like they run everything. They feel like they can do anything they want. They feel like they can contact you anytime they want. They feel like they can have their way. They feel like they own you. You know what I'm saying? In a little delusional world, they feel like they for, for some strange reason, they feel like they own you. And they really don't. It's a it's a delusion. You know what I'm saying? They live in a delusion of fake imaginary fairy tale world. You feel me? But like. Um, when it comes down to dealing with narcissists, man, they, like I said, they can come in, uh, male or female, man. Um, you know, and you'll know a person is a narcissist because when a narcissist just, they frustrate you. It's like a frustrating feeling that you get when you're dealing with a narcissist. It's like, oh my God. Oh, like, here you go again. Oh my God. What do you want? What? You know what I'm saying? That's how they is. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you see a narcissist walking on the sidewalk or something, and maybe he walking his dog and you walking your dog or whatever. You already know he going to stop and start talking. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing tonight? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Oh, yeah. I can do this for you. I can do that for you. It, it, just, it just get frustrating because they, they overdo it. You know what I mean? It's, it's like they, they they just doing too much. You feel me? And, and like I say, the reason why they doing this is because they narcissistic. 
All right. They are try they are being manipulative. All right. Because they all they always trying to make you feel like you the best thing that they ever had. All right. But really, in the true reality of it, they probably got other best things that they ever had, too. That's outside of you. See, it's all a game to them. They want to have first place person, second place, third place person. You know, what I mean, they want to have a roster full of victims of people who they are, who they have uh, conquered. You know what I mean? They just want you on their on, on they, on they wall of trophies. Okay? This is how narcissistic work. Because like I say, most narcissistic they, people, don't, they don't got no life. Narcissistic people don't got no life. They prey on other people. This is what they do for a living. Most of the time, they don't really have no real passion or, or career or vision or nothing like that. Some of them do. Don't get me wrong. But most of them really don't. Their whole life revolves around chasing like... Uh, the victims of the people who they want to dominate or they want to conquer or they want to uh, uh, overshadow. You know what I'm saying? This is what they do. Uh, and one thing, another thing about a narcissist is, um, man, I just don't think of it. Uh, dang, what was it? Dang. One thing about a narcissist, man, like I say, it, it, it's really, they, they really are like, they really are kind of like lost souls. So what they do is they always want to mess with that person who knows where they're going. Like if you got a direction in life or something like that, or if you, you know, you, you feel yourself like you got some swag, you got a nice personality and stuff like that. Narcissists, they don't like that kind of sort of, they don't really kind of like, like that a little bit. They want that. So what they try to do is they want to get with you. They want to try to get with you so they can take that away from you and they get the power over you to be able to tell you how to use your personality, if that makes any sense. They see your personality. They see what you all about. They see how you act, see how you move, stuff like that. But they, like I said, they narcissists. Their whole goal is they want, they admire, they want what you have. So their whole objective is to take that away from you and to like dumb that down and just, and just make you that little pet. So that you don't be so, uh, you know, so charismatic, you know, so that you don't have this big bright light on yourself. They want to dim your light so that they can get in your life and be you. They be your light and they like direct you and guide you and tell you and and demand you what to do and stuff like that. You know, what I mean, it's just like it's it's, it's like kind of like they immature. You know what I'm saying? They're immature people. They, they it's all about control for them. They always want to control somebody. You know what I mean? This is what narcissistic behavior is, man. And this is why narcissistic people are attracted to you. It's because, like I say, they see your light. They see somebody who is very, you know, you might be timid or you might be soft-spoken. You know, you might be the, the type of person that is just really like introverted or something. And they feel like they can come in your life and play boss. That's what they want to do. You know, how the, you know how the boss that gets on your nerves at work and, and try to tell you what to do and all this and stuff. And he don't even got no like no no right way of doing it. That's how narcissists work. Narcissists are always over your shoulder, always trying to tell you what and you cannot do, what you should be doing. And they're very manipulative. You know, they're very, they, when they don't get what they want, they will start playing games with you. They will start saying stuff to you that you didn't expect. Like, for instance, like you dealing with a narcissist, right? They're always trying to manipulate you to make you think that you need them, okay? Like, for instance, let's say you need some new tires on your car. So, oh, let's say you got new tires on your car, right? And then you go around a narcissist. The narcissist will say something like, ah, them ain't the right kind of tires you got for that car. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should have got these. Because they want, to, they want you to trust in their word. You see what I'm saying? Another thing a narcissist might do, uh, you know, if, if a narcissist come in your house or something, let's say a narcissist step foot in your house or your or your crib or your apartment or your condo, and they look at your carpet or something, you know, your carpet or something, they see some uh, dirt on it. They like, you need to get that up right there. You know, that's a, that's a, that's a stain in there, and that don't look right in here. Now I know this place that sell uh this 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 good old carpet cleaner, and you can go there, and they and, and I got the number, and it's like. They always want you to depend on them for answers. This is what narcissists do because, like I say, it's all about control with these Decepticons. It's all about control. If you're not coming to them asking questions, they don't like it. They're going to try to manipulate you. They're going to try to control you. They're going to try to shower you with gifts. They're going to try to buy you. All right? They will try to buy you, especially if you're, if you're a woman. And this is y'all weakness, okay? If you're a woman and, and, some, and men are trying to buy you and you falling for it constantly, then you're dealing with narcissists, boo. It ain't no real love in that. He just giving you what you, he just giving you 
what you weak to. You're going to say yes. And then he's going to have more control, more power, more control, more power. The next thing you know, you're going to be needing him for rent. And then next thing you know, he paying your rent. He on your crib. The next thing you know, you're going to want a car payment pay. Then, then you still don't want to be with him. Now he's going to feel like he got real super control over you because you need him for everything. And then you're going to be miserable because you dealing with somebody who you really don't want to be with, but you got them doing everything for you and you don't have no say so. OK, but again, like I say, it could be on the other side. It could be, you know, the, you can have narcissist women, too. Women are very some narcissist women are very possessive, bro. They are very possessive and very conniving. If you got a woman out there that, that it, it, it might be your next door neighbor that you speak to on a regular basis, bro. If, if she got if she like you or something like that and whatever, she don't want to see nobody else come into your apartment. She's going to say something about it. Uh, 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 she might scratch up your dough when you wake up in the morning. The dough be scratched up or something like that. You know what I'm saying? This is how narcissists work, bro. They manipulative, they conniving, and they are disgusting. Stay away from them. If you're dealing with a narcissist, cut them off. It ain't even worth it. All right? And don't accept nothing from them either. So with that being said, man, it's your big bro trend. This is why you attract the narcissist, man. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.